Dear friends, in this video we will discuss some important points of metallic and non-metallic poisons. Metallic poisons include arsenic, lead, copper, mercury, cadmium, zinc, thallium, etc. And non-metallic poison includes phosphorus, chlorine, bromine, iodine, etc. So let's start the video. First is arsenic. Arsenic interferes with cellular respiration by combining with the sulfidyl groups of mitochondrial enzymes. So SH groups. Arsenic combines with with SH groups in the mitochondria. Acute poisoning simulates cholera. So cholera like symptoms are in acute poisoning of arsenic and chronic poisoning of arsenic simulates Addison's disease, Gulenberry syndrome and black food disease as gangrene of food. Fatal dose of arsenic trioxide in adults is 120 to 200 mg. In arsenic poisoning, in early stage, the greatest amount is stored or found in liver. For the diagnosis of arsenic poisoning, Marsh test, Rinse test and Gujit tests they are used. Marsh test, Rinse test and Gujit tests. In the postmortem, red velvety stomach of mucosa is seen in arsenic poisoning, red velvet like stomach mucosa. In chronic arsenic poisoning, there is a raindrop like pigmentation. It is hyperpigmentation of skin of face or extremities with classical picture of dew drops on a dusty road, brownish in color, which resembles Addison's disease. So raindrop pigmentation is a sign of chronic arsenic poisoning. Similarly, hyperkeratosis of palms and soles are seen. Also, irregular thickening of the nails and development of transverse white lines in the fingernails called as Aldrich Mies lines. Aldrich Mies lines in chronic arsenic poisoning. Black food disease. It is due to chronic exposure to the arsenic and there is a peripheral vascular disease resulting in gangrene of feet is known as black food disease. Also anemia and alopecia is a sign of chronic arsenic poisoning. In postmortem fatty yellow liver is seen. It is excreted, arsenic is excreted into stomach and intestines after absorption even when it is not given by root other than mouth. Sorry, if it is given by root other than mouth, then also it is excreted into the stomach and intestine. Cadaveric rigidity or rigor mortis is lasting longer than usual in arsenic poisoning as arsenic resists putrefication, so rigor mortis lasts longer. Arsenic can be detected in hair or bones long after the de death. Mercury poisoning. Chronic poisoning with mercury is called as hydragyrism. Danbury streamers. They are due to chronic inhalation of mercury vapors. Their core streamers begins in the hands, intentional type and interspersed with jerky movements, also called as glass bore streamers. The advanced condition of this is called as hatter sake. The tremors gradually become severe and interfere with all normal daily activities and the advanced condition is called as concus concussion mercurialis. Concussion mercurialis. It is an advanced condition of tremors. Then mercurial erethism. It is a cluster of psychiatric symptoms. In this, maniac depressive psychosis is also seen called as mad hatter. Acrodynia is a pink disease seen mainly in children. Mercurial lentis is the deposition of mercuric vapors on the anterior lens capsule of the eye characterized by brown reflex and fine punctate opacities. Mercurial lentis. 
देन नेक्स्ट लेड पॉइजनिंग क्रोनिक लेड पॉइजनिंग इज कॉल्ड एज प्लम्बिज्म और सेटर्निज्म पीका इज एसोसिएटेड विद लेड पॉइजनिंग सो पीका इट इज इंजेक्शन ऑफ इन एडिबल आइटम्स इट लीड्स टू लेड पॉइजनिंग रिंगड सीडोरोब्लास्ट इन बोन मैरो इज अ फाइंडिंग सीन इन लेड पॉइजनिंग लेड इनहिबिट्स फेरोचिलेटेज एंड डेल्टा ए एल ए डीहाइड्रेटेज एंजाइम्स इन दीम सिंथेसिस पाथवे सो द एंजाइम्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट इनिबिशन ऑफ एंजाइम्स क्रोनिक लेड पॉइजनिंग साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स फेसियल पैलर इज द इनिशियल साइन साइन अराउंड द माउथ देन एनिमिया विथ पंक्टेड बेसोफिलिया रेटिक्युलोसाइटोसिस एंड बेसोफिलिक स्टिपलिंग ऑफ द आरबीसीज लेड लाइन ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बर्टोनियन लाइन इज सीन ऑन द गम्स कोलिक एंड कॉन्स्टिपेशन इट इज द लेट सिम्टम एंड ऑकर्स एट नाइट इन केस ऑफ क्रोनिक लेड पॉइजनिंग द लेवल्स ऑफ डेल्टा एमिनो लिवोलिनिक एसिड आर इलेवेटेड कॉपर पॉइजनिंग सो क्रोनिक इनहेलेशन ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट स्प्रे यूज एज इन इंसेक्टिसाइड कॉजेस विनियार्ड स्पेयर्स लंग डिसीज विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय हिस्टोसाइटिक ग्रैनिलोमैटस लंग ऑल्सो क्रोनिक कॉपर टॉक्सिटी इट इज द हॉलमार्क ऑफ विल्सन डिसीज विल्सन डिसीज एंड एटोजोमर रिसेसिव जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर ड्यू टू डिफिशियंसी ऑफ सीरोलोप्लाज्मीन सीरम सीरोलोप्लाज्मीन लेवल लेस देन थर्टी फाइव एम जी परसेंट एट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इट इंडिकेट सीवियर कॉपर टॉक्सिटी कॉपर सल्फेट इट इज अ पॉइजन एज वेल एज एंटीडोट ऑल्सो एंड एज अ एंटीडोट इट इज यूज इन फॉस्परस पॉइजनिंग सो फॉर फॉस्परस इट इज एंटीडोट इन कॉपर पॉइजनिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ पेनिसिलेमाइन ई डी टी एंड ससिमर कैन बी यूज थैलियम एलोपेसिया इज द डायग्नोस्टिक साइन ऑफ क्रोनिक थैलियम पॉइजनिंग ऑल्सो स्किन रेसेस Papillo macular rash often assumes a butterfly shape distribution on the face is seen in thallium poisoning dystopia of nails meads strips painful ascending peripheral sensory motor neuropathy and more pronounced in lower limbs is seen in thallium poisoning in autopsy fatty degeneration of heart tabby cat striations on the ventricles are seen metal fume fever the synonyms are brass chills brazier disease foundry fever monday fever smelter's sake welder's age the symptoms of metal fume fever resolve spontaneously within 24 to 36 hours so when metals when they heat up with their melting points then fumes will generate and they causes metal fume fever the symptoms resolve spontaneously within 24 to 36 hours similar condition is there polymer fume fever closely resemble with metal fume fever results from inhalation of gases produced by burning of polytetrafluoroethylene phosphorus it is non metallic poison and it is of two types red phosphorus and yellow phosphorus yellow phosphorus is luminescent and waxy and have a garlic smell in poisoning the breath smells garlic omitter sense tools are luminescent in dark and eliminate faint fumes condition is smoky stool syndrome and yellow or fatty liver is characteristically seen in white phosphorus poisoning in chronic poisoning fossy joy is seen so it is due to long term occupational inhalation of phosphorus fumes there is a sequestration necrosis and osteomyelitis of jaw usually lower jaw and occurs in place of an extracted caries tooth this is called as fossy jaw or glass jaw so it is due to chronic long term inhalation of phosphorus fumes in autopsy dark brown post mortem staining and garlic odor in the stomach aluminum phosphide it has garlic or fishy odor in the breath fishy smell and silver nitrate test it is used for the diagnosis barium barium carbonate 
causes muscular weakness as barium ions they are muscle poison they are they causes muscular toxicity inhalation of zinc oxide vapor in industries causes chills and rigor similar to malaria the condition is zinc sex or metal fume fever so inhalation of zinc oxide vapor then last one is itai itai or ouch ouch disease due to cadmium induced bone toxicity lead to painful bone fracture so itai itai or ouch ouch disease due to cadmium toxicity so thank you very much friends i hope so this video will be helpful for you we will meet in the next video thank you once again